This area at North Shore Park has a lot of foot traffic and the Caloosahatchee Bridge. Well, that's the closest one to get from Cape Coral to downtown Fort Myers. Crews will do survey work on the bridge, looking at how they're going to put in an eight foot sidewalk. It'll go on the west side of the southbound lanes on the bridge from First Street to North Shore Park. Right now, people have to walk and bike right next to cars. FDOT says the bridge wouldn't widen, but they would add to the side of it. Patricia Pichette with FDOT says safety measures like a sidewalk is something they're looking at across the board. We design new roads with that in mind, but we also go back and look at the roads we have right now and say, OK, what can we do? Where? Where are the problem areas? Where are the potential problem areas and try and get there before they become problem areas? Currently, none of the bridges connecting Fort Myers to Cape Coral has a sidewalk, though the Cape Coral Bridge could have one when it's replaced. There's only so much space to work with, FDOT says, so the project will not be done until 2026. Now those lane closures will start on Thursday and end on Saturday. FDOT says it'll happen from 8 to 5. So if you're going to be on the Caloosahatchee Bridge, just expect some delays or maybe take another route to get to your destination. Reporting from North Shore Park, Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4.